What's going on, everybody? How's it going today? And what's up, everybody? Happy Hump Day. Yep. It is uh, Wednesday and a beautiful sunny day. A lot warmer than it has been. But I uh, found, found out something this morning, some uh, sad news um, about the family. So, you know, I'm going to talk about a little bit about that. So, hope y'all's having an awesome day, yurt. So, like I said, uh, yeah, this morning um, found out that uh, one of my cousins was found, uh, passed away, and uh, he was younger than I am. Um, I can't remember exactly how old. Uh, I'm not going to talk about names or nothing like that. It's just a sad situation. Um, and I think if we be honest with each other, we all know someone personally or in our family or it could have been you maybe you was in an, a an addict at one time um but it's sad nevertheless yeah you never know yeah. what somebody's going through the pain in them or yeah. anything yeah and i believe that this world needs to be a little more humbler yeah more compassionate mm -hmm. yeah. because uh, the people, you know, we see from day to day, you know, in stores here and there and wherever, you know, red lights and uh, just passing by, you know, whatever. We don't know what these people are going through and we would be lying to ourselves if, if we said we did. I don't know anything uh, sad to say about my cousin, really, because I've not seen him ever since he was young. Um, and I know there's a, there's a stronghold, you know, from, um, being on drugs and, and, um, getting caught up in, in things and places that you don't need to. And then before you know it, you find yourself where you're trapped. You can't get out. You want to get out and you can't get out. And I don't know if it was the situation like that, but it just seems like he's had a struggle with this. And I'm not doing this video to talk about him or my family at all. I'm talking about it because it needs to be talked about. I once was a, an addict and um, I still am an alcoholic, but uh, I was I was addicted to cocaine. Uh, there was two years of my life that I can't never get back. And um, I'm thankful to sit here today that I'm alive, that I made it through it. Because there's a lot of us out there that, you know what, we, we chose this and chose that. And we got out. But a lot of them didn't. I've got friends in the graveyard right now that didn't get out. And uh, it, it's It's humbling. Because it makes me humble because I could have been that person very easily. And um, I just thank God each day that I'm alive that, you know what, I'm thankful for him to keep me alive. You know, it's just a, it's a sad situation, ain't it? After we heard the news, you know, it's just like, okay, drop everything that we was going to even do. And... Uh, when I saw Touch Daddy, this. when I saw Daddy crying, yeah, let's get back to that. So usually Corey goes and gets our breakfast if we don't um, go to Mama's. Right. So um, he needed me to go this morning, and I kind of wanted to, so I was like, well, "I'm gonna go get breakfast and stuff." Yeah. But when I saw Daddy crying, yeah. It changes it all. Yeah. Because like Daddy said, you know, he was too young. He was too young, dadgummit. He kept saying, that Daddy said, um, you'll never get to be an old man. And that right there just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. the guy's life is short. And I know y'all know this. We're not talking to people that, oh, duh, I didn't, you know, I didn't know that. Life is short. We take it for granted, y'all. We take it for granted 
We take it for granted to be a jerk to people. We take it for granted to, to I'm not going to be your friend no more to people. We take it for granted and say, oh, these people are doing this and they should be doing that. Life is too short and you opening your mouth up, you may never get those words back. And you may never, uh, you may never see the person because triggering, yeah. there is such thing as trigger. Yeah, don't you be the person that pushes that person over the edge because sometimes people are literally standing on an edge of their life and they could care less because they're, you know, they're so caught up in that, in, in the drugs and, and their minds, you know, diluted and, and, you know, and then God knows fentanyl and shit like that's in freaking drugs now. I mean, back whenever I was doing cocaine, at least I can say it was cocaine. It wasn't mixed with shit. Now these people out here, these addicts, they're dropping dead like flies. And some of you might say, well, they deserve that. No, they don't. No, they don't. Jesus came to live and die for the addict. That's right, guys. For the alcoholic. I'm a Christian, and I can say it. And God knows that I'm a struggling alcoholic. But you know what? I know what I am. But do you know what you are? You know, and we just got to, we got to be more compassionate with people. These, these words, the words um, can really push you. Yeah. The words that, we, you know, being a YouTube creator, you know, you put your life out there. And you get these comments from these assholes. That just, just speaking out of their mi mouth and typing it oh so easily on the keypad, you know, and putting, you know, they could care less if it hurts. They could care less. These are the type There's of no people. no compassion. We these are the compassionate. Type of, these are the type of people that we don't need on this earth. We need people that are compassionate. We need people that are understanding. We need people that love, not just looking for some little stupid uh, lane to, oh, i got to say something about this. You're a jerk. And it's because, you know, people out there are dying. Whether they be homeless, bad. whether it be mental, uh, mentalness, or drug abuse, or whatever it may be. There's still people, y'all. There's still our blood. So, I mean, it's just... Uh, it just really hit me real hard. So, yeah, with, with that being said, I guess I'm just asking everybody to be more compassionate. And then if you know someone struggling in any kind of uh, addiction or whatever, you know, maybe just pray for them right now or give them a call. Say, hey, how you doing? You know, just want to check in on you or whatever. Because you know what? We can't, we can't sometimes be that superhero to... To take, you know, all their pain away and take away the addiction and all this. But at least we can let them know we're there. That's all I could do for Cynthia when, with her mental illness. I couldn't help her. I couldn't uh, find the right medicines. I just had to be there. And It's like, um, it's like if he said the wrong word that wasn't wrong. Right. But I thought it was, it would make me snap. Yeah. So I'm asking everybody as well. Yeah. To be more compassionate. Yeah. Think about what your, yeah. what your who who can you bless today? Right. I have such a hard time that I deal with anxiety with people, but I've had a new thing in my mind. If I go in the post office and see see people that. I feel they're struggling. I hold the door for them or say, have a good day. Or, yep. you know, something we're simple. all, simple. you and me are all going through something. Yeah. And. Or we've been through it, you know. Or we've been through it. Um, and some people never had that um, struggle. And that's great. But be there for someone that ha that is. Walk on pins and needles. Yeah. Walk on thin ice. Walk on eggshells he did. to be for with that person or to let them know that you are there. You know, I mean, because all we can do is be compassionate and just be there. So 
I don't not really have anything else to say, do you? Just keep my family, my cousin, she's, you know, the mama and the daddy and the sister in your prayers because he shouldn't have passed away this age, but he did. And um, I, I hate it. That gum it, I hate it. But just pray for um, people hurting because that's all we really can do. And prayers, all, all prayers do not go unheard. No. All the prayers get heard. So, um, and just, um, God loves all of us. Yeah. He don't love just the ones that don't have to take the medicines. That's right. Or the blood pressure medicines. He loves the ones that's struggling, that's addicted. He come to this earth and he died for our sins. And, um, those people are struggling and there's people struggling all over the world. And if you're struggling right now, just hang on there. Hang on Please. there. And and, oh and uh and reach out to somebody that, that is your friend if you can, if you don't have one. But if not, reach out to us. I remember email us. I um, remember in the hospital I would just beg God, you know, I don't wanna not be here no more. Yeah. But I don't know if I can handle it. Right. I've been that person. Yeah. You can handle it, I promise. Just take one day, one moment, one moment at a time. And we're here. We're here. And uh and I'll, so I mean I'll never, ever Yeah. Forget no. how far I've come. God doesn't let that out of my mind, so maybe I could help people, let them know I've been there. Right. And feel it. Yeah. So so, yeah, guys, this is a little different, but whatever, it's important, and um, it's uh, it's real. It's real stuff. We can't turn a blind eye to people that we know that are hurting and struggling. So, Don't let's, try, them let's try to help them out if we can, and uh, prayer, if anything. And love them. So, I'm going to get out of here, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for supporting us, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Love you guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of hard to be giggly, you know, when something like this, but you know, we try to be, try to be happy. Um, I just want to say that to everybody, don't never, never, ever, ever give up. Cause you know what? You're special and you're worth yeah. and you're loved so so much and that being yeah. said you guys never ever forget love you guys yeah y'all have a good one